Okay, this is what's going to go down here. Just let me shut off my air conditioner. It's really annoying. Um, I got a new monitor. I'm going to hook it up here. Got a shelf. It's going to go here. Um, printer. I got to clean up my desk too. It's pretty messy. So, it's the printer, the stereo system. That's all going to go onto the new shelf, which is located right there. I got a brand new 27 inch full HD widescreen LCD which is a DVI-D uh, connection. Um, sorry, sort of out of breath because I've been busy. <laughs> Smoking don't help either. So it's a ViewSonic. I will um, obviously show you guys what it is later. Went and got Diablo 3. And an eight foot hopefully long enough DVI D cable for that um, it's one inch bigger than that TV that's a 26 inch that's a 27 inch so yeah it's gonna go in the center those two monitors are gonna go off the side I'm a developer so I need it um, so I'm gonna put up my shelf up here and deal with the rest so, first of all, I'm going to put my camera on the tripod, and I'm going to double check this. Oh, sorry, hold on here. I've got a pin in the ass. Camera. There we go. I'm going to view what I'm doing. So, I got this box that I'm going to open up. I'm going to be gentle on just because I need to send it back because it might not be long enough. So, I'll open it from the bottom. Uh, typical wiring, 50 bucks. The monitor, all this almost cost it on uh, $450. Quite ouch for price wise. Hopefully, to God, this thing is long enough. We'll find out. Oh, fuck yeah. She's long enough. Sweet. So I don't have to worry about yeah, DVI connection right there. It's better VGA. VGA is um, non-high def. When I went into Best Buy to go get myself uh, some and get myself a monitor, all their funky monitors had HDMI cables and uh, VGA supports. Like, what the fuck? They didn't have the right stuff. So I'm just going to leave this out, I'm going to get going on the shelf, and I'll show you guys progresses when I get to that point. So, see you later for now. Well, my shelf is somewhat up, as you can see there, and it's webbled. You can see it right there. Hold on. See, it's webbled. I said webbled instead of leveled. <laughs> But yeah, it's somewhat up. It's just going to be attached down. And i got to remove this plastic crap. So, uh, yeah. Fucking plastic. Uh, I removed the plastic. I haven't quite decided whether or not if I want to give it some of a, a gap to let cords go down. Or if I'm going to use this little hook right here to like lean my cords and let them, I don't know, go straight across here from the shelf onto this and then down that way behind the monitors. I haven't really quite decided. So some, I think that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep this straight on the wall and then let my cords hang downwards this way. And then the other ones to the TV. Because that shit right there is going up there. The printer is going up there. That speaker it's going to go in the corner. It's going to be playing towards the center. That one's probably going to go sit on that shelf in the corner. That way it does the same thing. The opposite. Those two got to be moved farther back. But that's later. I got a lot of shit to remove off this desk first. But I want to finish the shelf first. That way I can actually start putting things up there. And I have a little more room on the desk. Um, hopefully... The internet stuff can be moved up there too. I haven't really quite decided for power. Um, 
that's another question mark at the moment. We'll see what happens, but I'll let you go for now. Uh, so far I'm slowly starting to remove. You can see it right here. There's nothing there. I got my printer up there. You know, I should have actually moved this shelf down because now this cord is short. So instead I'm going to probably put a power bar up there just for whatever individual pieces that need to be up there. One will be a printer. That. Um, the Xbox. I still haven't quite decided where I'm going to put that. We'll have to see when I put everything in. And there's my mother. You videotaping yourself. So anyways, next part I'm going to do is I'm going to rip my monitors out of here. I'm going to pull out my PVR unit and start attacking the Xbox and then that. And whatever I can get at. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. <sighs> Alright, let me turn this thing off. Okay, so far. What you see is what you get, nothing on my desk really except for my stereo system because I wanted to listen to some tunage before I unplug it. That and that. It's all and Windex obviously. The internet, that way I can remote it from the living room. Switch music. For now. So it's pretty bare for a desk. Let me move back. Sorry guys, my camera is meant to be outside. It's not built to be indoors. So please bear with me while you can. So far, this is what I got. Now I gotta move that thing up there and hope to God I can find power somewhere for it. So, I'm gonna let you go now. Shit, I also forgot. That's what my bed looks like right now. <laughs> Full cords, receiver for a satellite dish, laptop, hard drive bay right there, um, audio piece. This is actually quite nice to have. No power needed. Um, that'll be next to pull out eventually. So, that's what my bed looks like. No way sleeping there. <laughs> I don't like do all this. Anywho. I'm already getting tired, but this is ridiculous. Check this out. That's my setup now. Nice clean desk. Xbox, got all my shit up there. I don't even know if half of that works yet. I know the stereo does, you can hear it in the background. Printer's up and running. Like so. Speaker there, that one over there, one there, one there in the center, and obviously the subs underneath the desk. Still got a ridiculous mess there. A lot of cables, a lot of random shit. Ugh. So yeah. Mm. You know, kind of got my desktop set up, although it's like cloning images on the sides there. That one's like cut in half. I'll have to fix that later with uh, display fusion. So, yeah. Anywho, I'll get back to you when I hopefully don't fall asleep. <laughs> I don't have a bed to do that yet. Well, this is kind of a bummer. I think I blew my or blown my amp. It isn't working, so I want to try it with the iPod. I think it finally fried it. <laughs> hopefully, I didn't anything. As long as it plays. Okay, try that. Not a damn thing coming out of it. It's plugged in too. Well, that blows. She ain't working, so, bummer. I'm going to have to rip it apart and see what the hell is happening. This sucks. Alright, um, this is it so far. I'm done for today. I even put up my board up there underneath. 
that. Um, I didn't do very much over there. It's kind of bright in here. Yeah, I didn't really touch that. I'm too tired. My bed is cleaned off now. That's clean there. The floor is clean. Um, my board, all that up there. Didn't touch anything there. Monitor set up. I haven't really did anything on the computer other than listen to music all day. That's all done. Um, no more subwoofer, which is a bummer. I took uh, the amp out and I took a look at it, and every little chipboard was completely fried. So I got a monitor, got a shelf, lots of sub. Well, now I'm stuck to with the cheesy fucking subwoofer that came with uh, my Panasonic uh, five disc changer up there. Well, uh, at least I got somewhat for bass. I'm not too impressed though. Um, other than that, seems to be good so far. So yeah, got an air conditioner in here. Now I got a three monitor set up down there. I got that one up there. I just gotta deal with the wallpaper shit but that's simple enough it's all clean there nothing up there has been changed <laughs> there's a bong um, yeah. that's pretty much it in this room um, well that's my renovation for today hopefully you guys enjoyed Got a laptop set up right there. It's, I have two internet service providers in here. I got one over there, and then I got one right there, which that's 100 meg, um, 100 meg, five. Wait, 100 meg down, five up. That one's 15 uh, down, one up. Hard drive bay, docking station for hard drives over there. Wireless back speakers. Obviously, there's the speakers there. corner yeah I'm gonna let you guys go now I am extremely tired I am going to probably install this and give it a shot after I screw around with the monitor resolution play some Diablo 3 I'm guessing that's Diablo 3 because of the lines so hopefully I got the right one oh it's fucking bright outside so yeah, peace. Well, I fixed my screen resolution. And an image. This is obviously the image that I got. That's 57 something, I don't know. Plus 1920 three times. I'm not doing the math. I suck at math. <laughs> but you can figure it out. That's how I got it. And I fixed the top one too. Although I got some issues with my wallpapers and the rig edit, and uh, I need to fix it by uh, hey there, uh, somebody's calling, chatting with me. See, check this out. It's kind of awesome. Stick that to the other screen. Stick it to this screen. That screen. Top one. You get the idea. Center one doesn't do that option. Top does it. This one does left. Top. This one does right. Top. That's about it. Anyhow, um, I don't know. I just got an issue with it. So uh, for changing wallpapers, I gotta log out and log back in on order to get it to work. It's kind of dumb, but oh well. At least it changes the wallpaper. Something didn't install correctly. Some driver. I have no idea. But, oh well. I'll let you guys go. Hey guys, so I set up my uh, my monitor set up here. And uh, this one is going to obviously go back to the store. Just got it today. And it's already got an imperfection in it. Um, if I said that correctly. I want you to take a look. Right at the very top there. You see that little red dot? 
Let me zoom in some more so you guys can see this little issue. I'm going to to my options here. I'm going to take off autofocus so you can see this better. There's a little red dot in the screen right there. Well, the LED lights, LEDs inside the screen are dead. This is a brand new monitor. You can see it right there. quite irritating so that monitor is going to go back into the store eventually so far this is obviously my setup that I got going on here um, I gained a monitor I gained a shelf I gained Diablo 3 but I lost a subwoofer. I'll have to make a video to show you guys exactly what happened to that. But brand new monitor already pissing me off. It's got to go back into the shop. Try to get it replaced because that little red dot is really, really irritating. Especially when you're playing 3D games and you're just like staring at it. And it's dumb. I can't believe how a monitor can be fucked up right from factory but I guess it does happen I've seen hard drives die um, before you even use them so that's the issue that I got going on here so hopefully um, I get this monitor replaced uh, sometime this week or next week I'll have to call Best Buy tomorrow and let them know exactly what's going on um, actually I'm going to put the uh, I'm going to give them a call and uh, maybe get another one because I think this was the last one that was on the shelf so they may have to order one in hopefully but anyways I'm going to let you guys go take, take care and have a great day